Oh my god. This nigga like hit them shits with a damn sand coffin. She was right. Without the nightmare to control them, the mages are free. And Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. They came out of this alive. As far as I'm concerned, they can tell whatever stories they like. I suppose you're right. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Who's that nigga? Logan. Bogey. Warden Logain died striking a blow against a servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens, even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? Foggy. You stay and do whatever you can to help. Logain died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, your worship. Yo, fuck all this in Cassandra, man. And possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. After all that, Damn, cool. you give them yet another chance? But they hurt people. Are you flinging these fools at demons now, my dear? Couldn't you just use rocks? While they do that, I'll inform the wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, your worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And take care of Varric for me. Yo, they always fucking get mad every single time I make fuck these niggas. Can't make everybody happy. I probably should have just pushed them out. Fuck it, yo. I want everybody a part of that shit. So they apparently I probably made the ending of the game harder for myself. But oh well. Hawk sent me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens carry respect in other nations. If we spread word that the Inquisition has their support... We may gain standing with nations that have suffered under the Blight. I will take the matter to Josephine. While you bested Corypheus here and at Halam Shiral, he himself was not present either time. We fear he is close to finding another way to enter the Fade. When you have a moment, Colin and Josephine are waiting in the War Room with an update. So does this nigga think he like Freddy Krueger or something? Divine Justinia, or a soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She seemed calm, serene even. And she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Hmm. Just fuck that book. Hey, one good news came out of it. Yo, I'm telling you, um, yo, Vivian, Vivian's ass is gonna, Vivian's gonna leave. Uh, she's gonna turn her back on me. Um, yo, who else? Uh, uh, Cassandra gets pissed off with a lot of shit. I do. I think Cole's going to turn on me. Uh, I, I don't know what else, yo. But I think those are like the ones that I'm expecting. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. 
The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. For some reason, they feel that you, to do that, you need to drink Dark Spawn, whatever. Want to drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day, they found a dog. A wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? You stopped them? Cut the dog down? I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We... could... make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe? Of course you'd make light of it. You make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of matching what you've done. Don't you see? It's not just about what happened back then. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. Alright, I was gonna wait for this nigga to finish, but... Son, make this shit look easy. Did he not see the... However many times I got my ass killed by a dragon? Oh shit, she's thinking about something. Oh, here we go. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Are you all right? You seem very intent. I am. This needs to be done before I forget. As if written by a dim-witted child. <sighs> Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her. Yet even so... I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time, 
No more legends lost to the ages. How the fuck? Oh, because that's where they were when they was talking. I'm like, I was like, I keep thinking, I'm like, how the fuck do I keep ending up in here, yo? Should just spoon with my head, yo. Yeah, this screwed up my head, but I was the only thing that kind of confused me was the whole thing about these niggas standing on walls when they was um. Why the fuck does it say there's somebody like right here? Lord, stupid ass folks, I shouldn't even be there anymore. Oh, who it is this time? Oh, need color. a new sword? I was thinking about it. I owe you an apology. When Cassandra sent you to speak to me, I should have handled myself better. There's no need to apologize. How are you feeling? I'm less exhausted. I hadn't realized how draining those months had been. The army has my full attention. I've informed Cassandra of the decision. Everything is as it should be. So you're fine? The Inquisition's Templars are well armed. This won't take long. That's not what I meant. Everything's fine, Inquisitor. I always wanted to be a Templar, to protect people. After Ferelden, I served out of fear, and because I was compelled. I thought if I removed the part that kept me chained, I would find my own purpose again. There are Templars who have been through worse. Once your sacrifices are made, is there no end? Are you leashed until the day you die? Or Lyrium takes your mind away? You're risking life and mind already. There must be a safer way. When this war is over, we'll look for it, I promise. Another way, then. I always try to go for, like, the most in-between decision I could possibly get. Or for most of the time, if I can. Oh, is that stupid thing on the wall again? So many niggas to talk to. Oh, shit. Somebody got an exclamation point. Who the fuck is it? Where? Not that nigga. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. Somebody upstairs that got an exclamation point on them. I want to know what the hell this is all about. Was it Cole? Ah, oh, fuck. No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solas to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. Isn't it extreme for Solus to bind you? What if that takes away the part of you that makes you... You. Helping makes me who I am. I help the hurting. That is what I do. All I do. Am. Me. And if binding you erases your mind? Your consciousness? You wouldn't make me hurt innocent people. I don't want to hurt innocent people again. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion. If Cole is ready to listen, I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. Shit. Shit getting real, man. Like, yo, like, everything got so serious all of a sudden, man, when it comes to, like, I was, oh, shit. As soon as I saw that little diamond shit on there, I knew exactly what this was. 
Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance. Likely because the Order will ask for his head. I want to kill him. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. <laughs> on the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Tebinta, rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Nigga. Lord Erimond, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. Those first four niggas was like, yeah. By my hand. Petty actions. <laughs> he was like, fuck you, you kill that nigga. Next world. <laughs> nigga, they had no objection whatsoever to that. Yo, that was like the first right decision I made. <laughs> they was like, fuck you, kill that nigga. Mmm. Feel the blood splatter. Another one? Fuck, man. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You were free to rejoin your comrades, and yet you present yourself here. There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Well, you, you feel your life is over. There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just... an end. Alright, so... See, I forgot what I was doing before that whole second... Oh, fuck. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I wanted to do that whole shit with the amulet. If I even, cause I think only I have, I think I only have like one person available to do, to do the operation. But at the same time, I want to send Cullen to, wait, was it Cullen? Nigga, no, I wanted some, yeah, I want somebody to do that stupid. Time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds, for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After Adamant, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds and sent them marching south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. 
What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? Tis best if I show you. Oh, like right now? I was trying to kind of trying to do this something. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. You can restore an artifact like this. There was a price, but one I gladly paid. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? I really wasn't trying to step in that shit yet, but okay. Please just be a cutscene and don't be trying to send me on no fuck shit right now. I was just trying to focus on my requisitions and get the hell out, but no. Nigga, cutscene. What happened to me starting an operation and then them send me into some fuck shit? If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I loved. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon.
Shit getting too real, man. Oh shit, Carefri just wants to go into that fucking little gate so that he can... It's basically, he trying to use that crap as a cheat code to enter the fade in the flesh instead of using the anchor because I stole the anchor because I'm a real nigga, so I steal shit from niggas who ain't real nigga. That's my explanation. If anybody ever sees this, be like, no, that's not what happened. No, nigga, that's my story, yo. This is my Dragon Age, nigga, so that's what happened. This chick's over here with her son. And I see what the fuck. Yeah, nigga, that's all I wanted to do the entire time, yo. Fucking goddamn. Sirs in it. On a real, they end up, like, all those niggas who teach you specializations, yo, they just show up in some random ass area, like, every single time. Alright, fuck it. Just let me do this shit this time. I think one of the other operations that somebody else is doing is like five hours long. I don't know why the hell they have operations that's as long, but whatever. I think it's not, it just stops you from fucking progressing as fast as you want to when it comes to certain shit in the game. And it's oh shit, hold up, she's at the table now. Does that open up like another option for her or what? Nope. Thought it would, yo. It fucking. If Morgan's gonna be at the table, yo, she might as well be another card for me to use. Fuck it. Inquisitor. I wanted to make that... Where the hell is it? Where is that operation that's gonna... Fuck, so I got... Oh my god. Where the hell is that stupid thing at? Yo, oh, there it is. Alright. Fuck okay, I'm going with Liliana. And I don't have nobody else to use, so... And there's so many goddamn stupid things left. So... I guess I'm gonna sell... Damn, I got 300 power? Fuck it. Oh, yeah, amulet power. All right. Oh, yeah, the thing is, they don't tell me who the fuck it's for ahead of time. All right. Oh, yeah, I got one for Black Wall and one for Vivian. Nigga, Vivian did so many... And I'm still going with the theory that she's gonna turn on me, so... And she had enhanced amulet of magic before. That's the thing, yo. They don't automatically just keep it on there when you use the amulet to give them extra power ups. And black wall. I think I'm on black wall good side. I'm not really sure. Where the fuck is? She's not even on my. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, did something happen that I missed where black wall just left? I'm guessing I'm going. Whatever the fuck this is. What the hell is going on? Uh, I'm scared right now. Right when I was saying, oh, I think I'm on Black Hole's good side. At least on Black Hole's good side. But he's not on my list when I try to give him his amulet of power. The spy master has confirmed it. Black Wall is gone. What? Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything yet. Sister Leliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. Oh, yeah. Um, so, some shit's going on with Blackwall. I guess I'm going to have to deal with that. Wasn't really trying to do that, but okay. Um, oh, uh, that kind of screwed up my whole, like, honestly, I didn't set that up. I had no idea that Blackwall was going to be gone. I looked on the map. They gave me that shit. That was just a giant ass coincidence. You saw it. Well, maybe. I don't know. I should keep it in the video. I'm probably going to screw up and take it out of the video. But you saw it. I was trying to get this nigga the amulet of power. And they was like, nah, nigga, he ain't there. But yeah, what else can I give myself? On a real, yo, these things... <sighs> 20 second duration where I'll automatically block a bunch of shit, get max guard off the top. I don't like that. Do you have any better passes for me? Oh, yeah, no, no, I remember y'all said I wanted to get more spending shit before I forget. Alright, there you go. And I got another point for Vivian, so I had no idea what the fuck I want to give her. Fuck it, going this way. Alright, well, since I already put in all of my... Fairbanks still don't want to say jack shit, yo. You just 
say one little fucking phrase. Hold up, hold up. No, no, no. Because I think there was something for me to do in here. With who? I don't know. Probably fucking cold. Fuck it. Oh, shit. It started out helping. Taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Probably. Man, I was about to, but nigga, I just freed up Colin, so. Let's see. Uh. Now I need to go back to the table. I usually don't spend this much time in Skyhold, at least record. Well, that's because usually if I'm in Skyhold doing, uh, Skyhold, I'm usually trying to, um, preserve my inventory, but that's not what's going on right now. And that one chick had that fancy ass gold shit on her head. I'm really just curious about, uh, if I can do something with Colin. Because I try to look at all my options and whether or not I want to go with a, cert a certain person. Like, nigga, if she's an advisor now, yo, why? Whatever. I forgot his shit was only eight minutes long, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. All right. Alright, so. Fuck it, I just sent him on another shit. Oh, well. Uh, Fuck it, but it's gonna be another eight minutes, but yeah, uh, I've been, uh, once again, one of these situations where I've been trying to be finished playing this game for a while, but nah, nigga, nigga, this is, this is it right now, so, yeah, uh, as soon as they actually free up my save state shit, and now they let me save it, okay, that's it, yeah, alright, I'm done. Blackout! Blackout! Blackout!